On this week's news, we'll be talking about the makerspace area in the library, the softball team, and the tennis team. Now, from the Grain Valley High School, here is DVTV. Hey GV Eagles, I'm your news anchor host Danny Sickle. And I'm Kenna Sears. Let's jump into this week's news. Our homecoming football game is this Friday against Columbia Hickman. The theme is Blackout. Come out and support your boys in blue and hear who is our homecoming royalty. Your books are still on sale for $70. See Ms. Kennedy in room 505 for more information. Our countdown until Halloween is 26 days. OTA Day is coming up fast. Seniors, remember to turn in your permission slip to go on a college visit. Underclassmen, make sure you sign up for the ACT, ASVAB, or other tests you are interested in taking that day. Have you seen the Legos and board games in our library and wonder why they're there? Well, it's actually our makerspace. It's open to all members of GVHS. Let's head over to the library to get more information. Hi, so today I was asked if I could talk to you a little bit about our makerspace area in the library. And this is one of my favorite spots in the library because it's an area where you can come in and be creative and use the different tools and activities that we have here. And hopefully soon we will have a schedule that um, I will email out to all of you that's going to let you know of the different days and the different activities that you can do on those days. So we are going to take you on a little tour of the makerspace area to show you some of our different things we have. So we're going to start on this side and work our way around the library but when you come into the makerspace area you'll see a bunch of bins and we have started labeling them to make it easier to find the materials but we have everything from markers and crayons um, and you can see in there you can just take out whatever you need to color pencils, scissors, glue. We have all different kinds of paper, some that are cut um, origami sites. We have duct tape, activity books, so that you can build with this. We've got some let's see, crafty things. So if you're into making friendship bracelets, we have a kit for that. We're excited to get into this one. It is a kit that is all about magnetics and uh, being able to create with that. And there's lovers and pulleys and different things that go along with this science kit. We have the stand for people who would like to create a board with Legos, but then we also have some of these fun um, stick-togethers, which are um, pictures that you can put together by using the letters and then coordinating the colors that go with the letters. Make sure you guys go check it out sometime. On to girls sports, Paige and Chloe interviewed some players about tennis. Over to you two. Hi, my name is Chloe and I'm here with Emma asking her about girls tennis. How's it been adjusting coming back from your injury? Um, it's definitely been a big adjustment. Um, I think coming back, kind of like supporting the team uh, through every game and match to now uh, being able to play in all the matches. It's definitely different, but I definitely enjoy it and I'm happy I'm back. Hi Paige, and I'm here with Finley to talk about the girls tennis season. So Finley, how's the season going so far? Um, it's going pretty good. We only have two losses, I think, as a team, so that's good. We have districts on Friday, so I'm looking forward to seeing how we do at districts. Thanks, girls, and good luck to you guys, and crush it on the court. Krista interviewed our very own anchor host, Danny, about softball. Let's head over to the softball field. I'm Krista Hernandez Krista here with Danny Sickle Russell. to talk about her senior season. Danny, how do you feel this season is going so far? Um, so far, I think the season's going pretty well. We are... Um, 16 and 8, I believe, after this win from tonight against Lee Summit West. And overall, I think we're doing pretty good. You've been with these girls for four years. What's your favorite memory with them? Um, it would definitely be this past year whenever we had our first theme practice where we did Adam Sandler and we all dressed up as Adam Sandler. And we just like had fun at practice, goofing around. And... Thank you, Krista. Our fall sports are coming to an end quick. Make sure to go out and support our student athletes. We have a new show that'll be airing soon. Yes, we do. VSPN, Valley Sports Production Network. Make sure to check your emails this week for the first episode. 
like that's all we have for this week's news. Make sure to follow us on all our social medias. I'm your news anchor host, Danny Sickle. And I'm Kenneth Sears. Have a great rest of your week.